guys, how's everyone doing today? This is Mike from Rage Break Gaming here, and I'm going to welcome you to the Underwater World on Let's Play Final Fantasy V Advance. Welcome back, guys. My first episode of 2020. Oh, what a great year this is going to be. That being said, though, guys, last time we managed to acquire our second tablet, and we also managed to get the new Mime job class. Yes. Mime is sexy. We also got the ultimate white and black magic spells, and we saved Sid, so... And we got our submarine upgrade for our airship. But yeah, I mentioned Mime in the last episode, which we got from, well, defeating, well, I guess imitating, um, nothing from Gogo. -Go. <laughs> but yeah, um, here's my setup going on for my party members. Nothing has really changed. Everything is relatively the same as before. Have, um, dual cast summon, um, magic and black magic on Lena for Ferris, um, sing... Um, time and white magic. I might switch it up and give Ferris mix an item depending on the situation. But well, I think this will do well for now. And here's my equipment set up for everyone. I got Ferris on the Sage Staff now since we have access to Holy! Yes, finally got Holy. So yeah, the Sage Staff will boost the power of Ferris's Holy spell. So, there you go. Otherwise, the Nato, we are under the sea here, and you notice there's a giant little crack in the ocean floor. What could that be? Could it lead to our third tablet? Huh, let's find out. We are right here where the cross-shaped scar, or sorry, cross-shaped scar, <laughs> where the cross mark is right here in the sea to the eastern half of the underwater part of the world map. So, well, there you go. Once you find it, let's enter. Uh, oh, we always enter the, oh, here. Thing first. In any case, we entered the Great Sea Trench. So, well, there you go. The Great Sea Trench is another one of my favorite areas in the game because we got more gargoyles! Yoink! So it's time for a boss fight versus the gargoyles. But who are we kidding? We've already killed them like, like three times already. So, goodbye. Goodbye, GG. So long. And yeah, those gargoyles drop like 10 ability points now, so they're really good, especially if you're trying to um, master mine. So there you go. Deeper than the bottom of the sea, yet and fill up by flames. One tablet rests. And once again, more book burning, because you can never burn enough books. So there you go. Yay! Alright, now the Great Sea Trench has some really odd looking enemies. What do I mean by that? Well, let's get into a random battle, and I will find- oh, Well, you'll see for yourself what I mean. Assuming the enemies will actually show the fuck up for a change. There you go! Yeah, we got new enemies here! Unknown! And unknown, uh... I, th I think they're just called unknowns. I don't- I don't know... Huh, weird. There's like- like five different types of unknown enemies here. But yeah, um, unknown, um, I think it has between 2500 HP to 6500 HP. Now, they have different bestiary, um, entry, um, numbers, and, well, the bestiary. But, um, as a matter of fact, I have not checked the bestiary since, like, the beginning of the game. So, it's like, let me see here. Um, there's number 168. Let's forward. There you go. Uh, Go back, go back. There you go. Yeah, here they are. Okay, number 169 has 3,500 HP. And number um, 170 is 2,500. So, yeah. Since I don't know the uh, which exact um, unknowns they are, uh, I'm just going to be going by ear and checking the bestiary. Since we fought these guys, we already know what they are. Ugly bastards, aren't they? Look at that! Ew! Look at that guy! Look at the giant pink dude, viewers! It's, it's not, look, he's got mucus coming out of his fucking face! Ew! Like, just, just, ew! I am disgusted. <laughs> wow. Just, just totally disgusting. I am, like, disgusted? But, well, there you go. Any case, save point here if you need it, but I don't. Now, this floor is a bit annoying because we got a lot of skull switches here. Very reminiscent of, well, the Chakal Cave. And oh yeah, since we're in an underwater, I guess like an underwater volcano somewhat, we got, well, lava down there. So you know what that means, just like at Xdev's Castle, when you see lava, you might want to um, place float on your party members. Just a little pro tip there, viewers. Eh, eh. But well, there you go. Yeah. Um, cast float on your party members, so that way you won't take damage from the lava, because once if you step on it, 
then well, you will obviously take damage. Not a lot, but it carries over into random encounters. That's another unknown enemy there, and I don't know which one he is, so let's go and well, check the bestiary again. So, there you go. GO! Alright, let's see. Almost there. Right, go back. Go back. There you go. Alright, um, that was 171. Unknown 171. He has 2500 HP. So, well, there you go. But, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be checking the bestiary primarily to see what the fuck they are. So, there you go. Now, I think you can learn the Doom a Blue Magic spell from one of the unknown enemies here. But, I don't quite remember which one it is. And, in fact, my notes is not even telling me. Huh, weird. Let's see. Yeah, I, I forget I forget which unknown monster you can learn the Doom spell from. Um, The Doom spell basically gives you like a small little counter countdown to instant death. Just like in other Final Fantasy games. So once it gets down to like a certain num- WHOA! Ow! Bitch. <laughs> but yeah, once it gets down to like a certain number, then well, you die. Pretty much. That's how Doom works. That's a spell that I think we could learn that from X-Death. Was that- e No, I think that was the Condemn Blue Magic spell. It was either Condemn or Do- HOLY SHIT! Now those guys are even more fucking creepy. Wow! Yeah, look at those, you got like two skeletons like back to back hanging from some kind of vine or something. Ew! But yeah, see there? That's the mime ability or the mimic ability. You see there, I had one character use lineage. I had Ferris use lineage, but she didn't learn it. Or it did, oh, she doesn't have it. So I had her mime the character that used lineage prior. That's the beauty of the mime job. So, there you go. Now, that guy, that other unknown enemy. Let's once again check the bestiary. Yoink! Go faster! There you go. <laughs> Alright, there you go. That's unknown 172. He has 6,500 HP. So, yeah. Creepy bastard, isn't he? Because, well, get it? Because he's like two, two skeletons and like back-to-back -back combined into one. Hence the creepiness, viewers. Well, I got it. But in any case, we get an ether here. And like I said, make sure to keep float on. Because they all float. Well, yeah, well, okay, yeah, they all float. But especially this guy. You definitely want to have float on against him. Holy shit. Wow, that Sasuke's katana is weak against them. Holy cow. Huh. Maybe I should give Cryo back the, um, the, the Murasame. Huh. Or, huh. I could give her the Defender, because it does parry. But the thing is, I would lose that point of agility for her. That's the only reason why I've not really wanted to switch weapons for her. I mean, Zinnius can wipe them out anyway. Ah, there's Doom! Although he did not use it on any of my characters that has innate learning on. But, well, whatever. And I'm probably going to leave um, um, Bart's and Cryo on um, Freelancer probably for the rest of the game. More so because, well, they have innate learning. So if there's any blue magic spells that I did not get and the enemies were to use it on me right, right then and there. Like there, for example, using it on Cryo. Then, well, I can learn it without having to have learning on. Because I master blue mains for them and on the Freelancer, they have it innate. So there you go. Yay! We got the Doom Blue Magic spell! Sexiness. Sexiness, viewers. Sexiness. Did I say sexiness? Well, yeah, I meant it. But yeah, um, Doom basically curses one enemy to die in 30 seconds. So yeah, it's kind of like death, it's kind of like the death sentence Blue Magic or enemy skill from Final Fantasy, um, 7. Pretty much. What the? Hey, dwarves! How's it going? Lolly hoo! <laughs> there may be only five of us, but welcome to the Great Dwarfin Kingdom. Yeah, they remind me of the dwarves from Final Fantasy um, um, 3. Yeah, uh, there is another Final Fantasy game that has dwarves that are prevalent. But, well, I will will LP that game probably at some point this year. Lolly hoo! Rally Bo was digging a tunnel, Lolly. He said it would let him go around the world, but why would you want to? Why would you want to? Huh, who knows? Who cares? <laughs> know anything about the magic lamp? If you take it back to where it's from, the lamp's power will be refreshed, Ali. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, while I was going around the world with Boko to get that, um, that Mirage Fest from the guy in the Phantom Village, I actually went to, um, Istory Falls, 
and um, just have Boko go into Instantry Falls there, and you can get the magic lamp um, item. Now, if you use it in the course of battle, it will randomly cast a summon magic spell. It's kind of like the summoner's call ability, and still like that where it calls a random summon. So, you know, there you go. I, n I never worried about it until now, but it seems like something odd is happening above ground, Lolly. So I'm sure a forest is above us. Well, if there is a forest above us, yeah, yeah, as I figured, that's the Phantom Village that we're, um, that we're under. Well, no wonder it's strange, because it's a village that was within the rift. So, yeah, if you feel something really eerie about it, that's the reason why. Hence, well, the music, and the awesome guys, who all wear turbans, by the way. Turbans are the hotness. So, well, there you go. Alright, now, this guy here also has a shop. And, well, it's basically the stuff that we could buy back at the Phantom Village as well. So, if you did not get it there, you can get it now. So, well, there you go. They also sell the black and white robes. I recommend that you get one of each for your casters. So, well, there you go. Make sure to save as well. Because there's there's no um, free end in the, well, obviously, if it wasn't obvious enough, that is the Dwarven Village of the game. So, yeah, if you did not, um, well, there is no end, so you'll have to use, like, a tent or a cottage, um, there. So, there you go. Oh, the Whoa! Dick! Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, pro tip, do not, um, open that chest, or you'll fall into the lava. So, well, there you go. Hence why I love this place. It has that sort of dickish feel to it, but it's so soothing because you have... You know, the underwater theme, and then you got all this lava, it's an undersea volcano. It's amazing! A beauty of nature. So, well, there you go. These guys are not beauties of nature. In fact, they are the underside of nature. So, well, there you go. But yeah, some of these switches here can actually um, help out, because uh, I think there are some paths that you can open up so you can get out of the fucking lava. Some of them can even open up some passages in this area that might have um, also been sealed. So, well, there you go. Now, there is, oh, well, besides the gargoyles, the unknowns are the only enemies in this dungeon. So, well, there you go. I mean, they do give some good ability points, so it's not like it's a total loss fighting them. Alright, let's see. Can I? Oh, come on. Forward. There you go. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting unknown ugly alien monsters all day. There you go! Nice! Alright, now I wanted to open the door. I, I, I don't remember which one of those switches opened it. But yeah, just um, check one of the two switches that I checked at the southern part of the area. And well, you can open the door there. That'll lead us to where our third tablet is. But I want to go there just yet. Instead, I want to do that! Which opens up this path over here. Yes. Which gives us a random encounter! No, well, yeah, it does. But, well, yeah, it's, it's not forced, though. We get the Kaiser Knuckles. Nice. The Kaiser Knuckles are for the Monk Job class. And, oddly enough, we have not received any kind of, like, real Monk weapons like, at all in this game. That's, that's a first. Huh, whatever. We got it, so it's there. In any case, all right, the third tablet. Finally. Whoa! Oink, oink. What the hell? How's it going? x have sent us. Oink! Told us to kill you. Oink, oink. <laughs> Orders, you know. Nothing personal. Oink. Okay, so x next minions to stop us are... Pigs. Really, x -Death? Really? You couldn't send someone more powerful, like... I don't know, a summon? Uh... Whatever? Instead, you send... Ugly pigs? On top of that, we have ugly alien monsters in this place. Whatever. Oink, oink to you, bitches! Oink! Cause it's time for a boss fight! Versus Triton, Neuron, and Frobos. I can't pronounce their names for the life of me. In any case, they all, all three of them have 13,333 HP. This is not even a boss fight. Um, one easy way to just wipe them all out is, well, to go and, um... Are you done? Cool. Thanks, dudes. But yeah, one easy way to, to just wipe them all out is to use Odin. He'll slice and dice. Send Tetsu down! Woohoo! Insta-death! But yeah, just use Odin on him. It's not even a threat. 
In any case, all right, the third tablet. Something that's written on it. Let's see. Ooh, we got Meteor! Nice! The ultimate time magic in the game. Sweet. Not only that, but we also can unlock some more weapons at the sealed castle. Let's go over um, our new time magic spell. Yes, Meteor um, um, comes full circle for all of our time magic. Now we have all the time magic in the game. Meteor is basically like an upgrade to the Comet spell, except Meteor, of course, hits all enemies on the field. Sometimes it doesn't all hit, though. So yeah, it's not the most accurate of spells. But, well, it's there. And it's a really strong one at that. The damage can be somewhat random from a little bit to a lot of damage. So, well, there you go. In any case, we got our third tablet. We got the meteor spell. So now let's get out of here and I'll meet you back at Castle Kuza. Be right back. Alrighty, viewers, I'm back. We are back inside the sealed castle, and I placed our third tablet into the pedestal. So now we can go and get our next set of legendary weapons. Yes. But I pretty much got all the ones I actually really care about. The, all the other ones are just basically poultry, but I'll get them anyway, because, well, plot. In any case, I want to get the Assassin's Dagger. Yes. Yoink! All you assassins, beware, because I have your dagger. Pretty much. Woohoo! Assassin's Dagger, get to those A. Alright, now the next one I want to get is this guy. This is the Rune Axe, which I'm never going to use because axes are super inaccurate. Yay! Rune Axe, get. Alright, now the last one for the day I want to get is this guy. I want to get Yoichi's bow. Yes. Did Yoichi use a bow in Bleach? No, no. She used footwork. This, Yurichi's bow, the best bow or one of the best bows in the game. Nice. Why do I say one? Well, post game exists. So well, <laughs> there you go. That being said, though, we got the assassin's dagger. Oh baby, the assassin's dagger can sometimes finish enemies in one blow. So yeah, if you physically attack an enemy with it, chances are sometimes, not all the time, it will inflict instant death. So, well, there you go. Really, really nice weapon, although it's a, basically a downgrade for both um, um, Bart's and Cryo. So, well, there you go. Those other two weapons I'm not even mentioning because I'm not even going to use them anyway. Yeah, but, yeah, I pretty much got all the weapons I cared about from the first two tablets. We only got one more tablet to go, but where could it be? Well, I'll meet you guys where we need to get started to find it. Be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, viewers, I'm back. We are back near Istory Falls. Yeah, remember Istory? It got sucked into the void. The suck zone, pretty much. So yeah, Istory is gone, but the final tablet is actually within Istory Falls. But yeah, if you take Boko all the way up to this waterfall here, um, Boko can enter it, and you can get the magical lamp there. I remember I got that off screen. So well, there you go. In any case, once you find Istory Falls, go to the south of it, and then land the ship. Um, the, the key to getting to the final tablet is underwater. Yes. You should find a small little cavern into it. So yeah, this is where we are in the undersea part of the world map. So there you go. Where history was is basically where we are underwater. So just check that out on the world map. In the top part and then flip it around. So there you go. That being said though, let's head into... History Falls. Yes. Now, the final tablet area, not as annoying. We got two enemies here. Um, Druid and Ironback. Um, Druid has 2200 HP. Ironback also has 2200 HP. Unfortunately, Ironback um, does not die automatically to Zenith. So you'll have to use it like twice and, well, he dies. So, well, there you go. But yeah, that wasn't History Falls. I got that confused. This is History Falls. Which also has gargoyles! Yoink! Because it's time for a boss fight versus the gargoyles. Again! So, well, there you go. But we've already fought them already, so, you know, why even mention them at this point? They're, they're, they're not even many bosses. But they're there, so there you go. They are the guardians to the shrine of the Silver Monk. And once again, more book burning, one last time. Protected by water beyond the. Falling currents, one tablet rests. And with that, 
the key to the final tablet. The door is open. Nice. Now, look at this. Look at all these miniature waterfalls. Really peaceful and serene, isn't it? Don't let the sereneness fool you, viewers, because there are dangers lurking within these waterfalls. Whoa! Um, Tom Berry scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, remember this guy? Yeah, Tom Berry's a bitch. Tom Berry has 33, oh, oh shit, um, 33,393, um, run, just run, run! There you go. Yeah, he has 33,393 HP. If you allow him to get close to you, he will probably kill you in one hit. Um, he has an attack called Everyone's Grudge. I think it deals damage based on the number of monsters that you've killed in the game. If you killed a lot with a single, you know, with a single character, they will die, probably. No, 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 there is no probably, they will die. So, yeah, you might want to avoid fighting them, or if you do fight them, kill them quickly. In any case, we got another enemy here, um, Akamiya, or Akamaya, or whatever. In any case, Akamaya has 4,500 HP. Now, I think just like their cousins back at the Phoenix Tower, they can summon other monsters, so don't leave that bitch, um, alone for, for, um, for long. Kill her quickly, otherwise you'll have more problems to deal with. So, there you go. Throw money at your problems, just like I do. Well, in game, that is. I can't actually throw money at my problems in real life. That'd be a little too easy. That'd be against the rules. In any case, new enemy here, Mercury Bats. Mercury Bats are weak as shit. They have 500 HP, so they're not even really worth mentioning at all. So, there you go. In any case, oh, there's another treasure chest. Aw, oh, bitch, get out of my way! Bitch, please! Why show yourself to me if you cannot defeat me in battle? I mean, because we get an air knife here, but who cares? We got plenty of them. So let's just enter the, um, the place. So, there you go. Alright, uh, oh, this area. Let me see. Two, alright, there are two halves to this area, and we need, um... A a actually, never mind, I got a little tongue-tied there. Oh, that part, I remember. Now, viewers, in order to get to that chest, now, this is actually important, because in the post-game, there will be an area similar to this. What you want to do is you want to flip the skull switch and quickly get to that chest. The downside is that you have to be very quick. If you're not quick enough, you will, will fall down the waterfall and you have to start or try this all over again. So, yeah, it's annoying to deal with. So what I suggest, um, do I have Sprint? Please tell me I have Sprint. Yes, I do have Sprint. Now, we have that combined with Auto Dash already. What you want to do, um, hit the switch, go, get it, boom, done. So, there you go. You want to have Sprint for that part, otherwise getting to that chest is annoying. But yeah, now that, now that we're, <laughs> fail, now that we're, now that we, or inside is three falls. Can we find the final tablet? What awaits us here when we do? Will the last boss that protects the tablet be just as annoying, as hard, or as easy? Well, you'll find out next time. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming videos from me. Hit that bell to stay notified. Become part of the notification squad. Hit that bell, that way you'll never miss a single video from me. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day. Smell you later.